Hello, my name is Toby from Art Master Studio and welcome back to part 3 of how to paint a 28mm miniature. Uh, this is from uh, In Her Majesty's Name set of rules from North Star. So we've done the undercoating, we've done the first highlight. Uh, now it's time to do a second highlight. So we've got the blue for the waistcoat here which we lightened with London Grey. Uh, so this time we're going to take a little bit more London Grey and lighten it again. So you know, just a very, very small amount will do. Uh, and then if we need to, we can add some more. Add a bit of water to it. Okay, so as you can see, it is lighter. Um, but I've got a feeling that's going to be just slightly too subtle. Um, so we're going to take a little bit more and just add another very small amount. Okay, that's more like it. Oops, look in the box over there. So hopefully we can get this miniature all finished off in this particular video, uh, but we shall see. I might have to make a part four just for the finishing touches. So uh, I'm taking my smaller brush this time, and uh, this was the 4-0 that has lost some bristles, so it might as well be a 5-0. So as you can see we're not putting on as much as we did last time. So I'm just trying to highlight it um, close to the uh, the deepest shadows. You can see I, I kind of um it's kind of like you put the second highlight close to one dark shadow at the top and then you leave some of the first highlight which flows back down into the undercoat and then it goes back to the second highlight so it's kind of like a three stage stepping stone down and that acts as a sort of a natural um, one two three sort of shade effect uh, which is kind of what we're going for all over going to highlight the buttons in blue as well. Okay, so that will do for that. Now I'm going to highlight the trousers. So before we added uh, London grey to uh, dark grey for the first highlight. This time I'm going to take some light grey and I'm going to add that to uh, the mixture that we had before. There we go. So you want to have enough in there so it shows up. Um, you don't want it to be too subtle. Again, you know that's always a thing. Just judge it by eye. 
go by what you think looks best um, and try and have the same amount of contrast on every layer um, if you have uh, the first highlight being quite subtle and then the second highlight having a lot of contrast then um, it can look a bit dodgy um, really you only want a lot of contrast when you're doing some extreme highlights um, to really bring out the edges of the model Um, keep in mind as well that sometimes when you're painting uh, your colour on it will often dry darker and end up looking more subtle than what it goes on in the first place um, so you might be painting and think oh this is there's too much contrast here a bit like this grey that we're doing here um, and it might not look quite as good at first um, until it dries and then you think oh actually that was not quite as contrasty as I first thought um, which is uh, a good thing sometimes but it can also be a bad thing um, because it might you might be painting um, a second highlight or even a first highlight for that matter that you think looks uh, like it's got enough contrast until it dries and then then it might hardly look like it's got any contrast at all which is kind of can end up being a waste of time if you're not careful Um, I'm quite happy so far with the grey highlight here. Again, it's slightly, uh, slightly more subtle than I first thought, but it kind of lends itself quite nicely to the natural look of the sculpting on this model. So we'll probably give that an extra highlight before we finish. Okay, so that'll do. So now we'll highlight the white. This time I'm going to uh, use off-white on its own, um, but we'll see if it's got too much contrast. If it has, might need to add a smidgen of the light mud, which was the original undercoat colour. Add some water to it. Okay, so it's working well on the folded uh, sleeve bits here, so that's quite nice. I think that's fine. The fact that there's water in it as well helps it blend slightly. Being a ever so slightly translucent.
cage. That will do for that. Now we'll highlight the shoes, followed by the wood. So for the shoes, I'm going to use uh, Vallejo Mahogany Brown. Here we go. Okay, so that's that. Now we're going to highlight the wood and I'm going to use Vallejo Beige Brown. So I think we're making good time. The uh, second highlight is often quicker than the first highlight anyway because you've already set yourself a path to follow um, in regard to where your highlights are going to be they're predetermined on the next highlight it sort of makes it a bit easier to choose where you're going to put your next brush stroke Now we're going to highlight the flesh. So I'm going to take Vallejo Flat Flesh and I'm going to mix a little bit of it with the colour that we had before, which was a mix of the undercoat and flesh base. Add a bit of water to it. Hopefully there won't be too much contrast. Um, we'll do the face first this time. Give them a little bit of a butch in there, two little dots. And then the bridge of the nose. And the nostrils either side. Luckily, the uh, forehead um, is covered by his uh, fringe, uh, which also covers his eyes, so it takes away some of the effort there. Makes it a bit easier for us. That's always nice. Just add in a little bit of water to my brush just so it blends a bit more naturally. 
on the arm uh, considering that there's a bit of a larger area of flesh going on there wash there. A little bit too much water on the brush at that point. Alright, so that's that. Now we'll highlight the hair. I'm going to use Vallejo Light Rust for this. Uh, then I think we might give the, the flesh just an extra, extra little bit of a highlight before we do the metal. Now I'm going to take some flat flesh on its own just to give the flesh an extra highlight. get those little bit of fingers showing there and we'll do the fingertips on this side and then a little bit more on the face that's what we do Then we'll do the silver now, just quickly. I don't think this will run into another video. There's no point in making part four just for some extra little details. So, oh yeah, I'm using a Vallejo gun metal, or gun metal metal.
Okay, so now I'm going to highlight the silver. I'm going to take Vallejo Model Air Aluminium. This is just a nice bright silver. Won't need to use much of this. And this is just going to act as a highlight. I know I haven't left it to dry properly, um, but for the sake of the video, let's just do it this way. Uh, normally, you should probably leave it to dry a bit longer. Perhaps put a uh, black wash on before you highlight just to shade in the silver. Okay, so that will do for that. And there we have the finished figure. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this little three part series on how to paint a figure from In Her Majesty's Name by North Star Miniatures. If you like the video please give it a like, share it with your friends. Uh, we are on Facebook, we are Art Master Studio. Uh, our website is artmasterstudio.co.uk If you have any questions or want to commission us, send us an email at artmasterstudio at hotmail.co.uk uh, Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.